VIP access. VIP access with Aniko and Africa Loud. Yo, 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 welcome to my podcast. As you can tell, my energy is on another level this week because I'm hosting the coolest from this side Ooh. of East Africa. When I tell you that this is the home of the coolest African stars and the brightest, I mean it. The Coco Master himself, hey, Barak Jacuzzi, is in the more building. More juice, more juice, more juice. Let me get What's my chapstick up? out. <laughs> Let me get my lip balm out. First of all, Cocos. ain't nobody else going to be calling themselves Coco Master if it's not Debunch. It's just you. I'm like, how the hell do you call yourself Coco Master? That's Debunch. I actually Debunch. got it from Debunch. I got it from Debunch. I saw I him do it and I said, I like that. I need that. I'm taking that. You know, so I had to sprinkle a little of his sauce. And I also love coconuts. Like, it's really a great... Is it a fruit? Yeah. It is a fruit. I think so. It could be a vegetable. I don't know. Is it a fruit? No, no, no. I love First cocos. of all, how'd you pick Debange's um, name? You know, you know, it was really a mixture of Debange and like Wizkid. And then I just like turned myself to Raj Jacuzzi, the Coco Monster, the Pretty Rasta. And it's also a little bit of ASAP in there too. Because Pretty Flacco, then I was like, Pretty Rasta, I like that. So yeah. we just added it all. And it's like a melting pot of a whole lot of inspirations. But definitely, I have to give all the rights to Debange, the Coco Monster. And when I met him, I was like, bro, I'm the Coco Monster. too. like, I'm Debange. And it was a great, it was a great interaction. <laughs> oh, so, that's so dope. Yeah. So you all met. Yeah, Angela. Angela. Shout out to one of my best friends, Angela. She, she it was at one of the... Uh, capital events and we met backstage. That's dope. Yeah, Love yeah, the yeah. Back then when he played at um, mm -hmm. Karoga. Karoga, yeah. Karoga Fest. I almost forgot mm -hmm, about that. Mm -hmm. Such a legendary act. BC. That's BC before Corona. <laughs> that's Karoga BC. Before Corona. It was a different oh time. Oh my God. Okay, so for everybody listening and watching, this is um, the amazing Barak Jacuzzi. Yes. Um, you know, it's such a, a pleasure for me to know oh, you um, and to have seen you grow into yourself because from the very first time we met I remember you telling me I'm gonna do all these things mm -hmm, I'm gonna mm -hmm. record a song I'm gonna have my EP mm -hmm. and now you have um, the juice bar mm -hmm, one mm -hmm. the juice bar two juice the bar juice three. bar three yeah. and there's a recent um, collaboration project that just came out with Silverstone yes. bars V and M yes Toxic so love Bark story. Bark Jacuzzi is a really dope rapper, um, individual, uh, media personality, MC, all round, vibe curator, hey. master, um, and driver. Yes. How do you um, describe yourself? Hmm. Apart from the Coco Master, Pretty Rasta. I, 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 I describe myself as an entertainer, uh, vibe curator. Um, you know, I'm, I think I'm on to something. But uh, me, you know, I, I do events and uh, I don't know what the word is, but I just always put it under the pot of entertainer. Because, uh, you know, I do a lot. I do radio, I do events, I uh, host events. I dibble dabble in DJing now. Um, what else? Do music, I act. And um, I'm trying to get into comedy. Comedy is really what I'm really trying to conquer right now. But I'm writing, I'm doing a lot of script writing because I want to actually uh, really get into movies. But um, I want to write my own because I got a lot of different stories that I really want to work. And I want to do TV shows, too. I really want I'm really working on different TV shows that I can, like, get on actual TV. Not, like, just Netflix, but, of course, try to sell it to Netflix or some other uh, publication. But, yeah, so entertainment mm. is what I do. You know what I love about you? You're a real one, and you always show up. Mm. So this interview wasn't even supposed to happen. We just like literally bumped into each yep. other over the weekend, yep. and over drinks. I said, you know, pull up yep. my my G. I was gonna say mm -hmm. my nigga, but <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, pull up, yes. and and it was your birthday. <laughs> even. It was my birthday last night. We but was in the still, club. You still pulled up. I pulled up. I got you. Yo, I appreciate that. Tell me up. Happy oh, birthday. Thank Happy you, thank birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How does it feel to be a year older? Oh, uh, man, it feels great. It feels great. I feel like I'm aging backwards. I look, I look at a lot of my counterparts and my peers, and they look old, man. They look very <laughs> tired. They look very tired, and they ask me, what do you do? What is the secret? And I'm like, tequila and... <laughs> A lot of, a lot of, a lot of long nights. A lot of long it's nights. It's so funny because I say the exact opposite. I'm just like, I drink water. <laughs> <laughs> no, I drink a lot of water though. Water is the unsung hero. But do you also hero. say tequila? I do. I do drink a lot of tequila as well. Makes I used you, to be a Long Island guy. I used to be a Long Island guy back in the day. Like I used to drink Long Islands, and now I know that's how I know I'm getting old because I cannot drink Long Islands no more. <laughs> like I used to be drinking two, three in the night, and that's my vibe. Now a Long Island, I can't even. I can't even order a Long Island. 
No, I got to have like a little shot of tequila, maybe some whiskey on the rocks. It's funny you say that because tequila is now kind of a thing in the Nairobi like yeah. club culture. Yeah, it got cool. It became cool, you know. Once cool people start drinking, either. everybody want to drink tequila now. <laughs> but no, I feel like tequila is like a party drink. Like when I take a shot of tequila, it puts me in a nice little vibe. I'm drinking whiskey. It might make me act a little smoother. You know, I might be a little more calmer. Mm. But when I'm drinking tequila, I don't know, it gives me a little, a little more... A little more pep in my step. I don't know. Mm. When I'm drinking whiskey, I feel more grown. Like, I'll drink whiskey when I'm trying to, you know, have polite conversations, you know, amongst friends. Mm. By a campfire or something like that. But if I'm in the club taking shots, baby, what's up? Tequila. Mm. Yeah. But that's me. Interesting. Interesting. So I was asking you before the interview, and I was mm-hmm. like, okay, let's talk about this in, inside yes. the interview. Yes. What are your most successful singles? Um, I think songs? I think my most actual successful my most successful singles probably less stress, and they're not even that like they don't have that many plays on YouTube. Probably like all less than 100k but they're my most successful singles and yeah they get the job done like my fans love them but um i have big collaborations like you know Cherokee Gang was like probably my biggest you know my first big collaboration with, with Patrice and Octo and then uh i did radio with Tanasha shortly after that was pretty big cool. that was super yeah that was big that was her first song and then yeah. it just went crazy and then um and then uh, Cheche with Octo went big again. That was like one of the first drill songs, I think, in Kenya ever before mm. Brooklyn was doing it. We dropped Cheche. And I remember at the time, everybody was like, like, drill's dead. And I was like, it was crazy. And that was like two years before it even popped off. So yeah, Cheche was big. And um, what else? Mm, that's about it. The is big, it, that's like the yeah. biggest ones for sure. But. Uh, uh, in the recent like past, isn't is in like Friday night with BN Oh, Friday night, yeah. Friday night is doing great. And we're, we got to do the video definitely before the year ends. I hope we can knock that video out. I'm not letting that one go on, even if it's 2025. Oh, so you've been hunting him down. I've been hunting. You know, he's everywhere, man. He's so busy. And also, I've been busy. So like, I can't lie. I've been all over the place as well. Mm. But we're going to definitely get it done. I can't wait to shoot that video. That's dope. I can't wait. That's dope. Yeah. I feel like your music and your vibe represents Nairobi in many ways, mm. especially um, when I, we talk about new Nairobi. Mm. Just what's happening, what's popping. Yeah. What's your experience like, you know, existing in the Nairobi industry? And a lot of other artists who are considered to be the pioneers of the new Nairobi sound mm-hmm. are people you know very closely who are your friends and yeah. collaborated with them. Yeah. The likes of Butros, Karun, mm-hmm. you know, Chapman, mm-hmm. Bien himself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're literally, you know, inside the mix. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy, you know, because I came in 2015, 2016. So Campbell had just finished you know they they still were like gonna come back in the middle of that so there was so much new new times were happening like even Saudi soul wasn't at the level they were at yet so it was so much new energy happening Karun was starting her solo career you know Teo was starting a group so there was so much moving around EA Wave was ha- around so it's been it's been a movie actually like I think about the days like back in the day before Corona BC and I'm like wow life is crazy the way things move but truth his his evolution of music i mean when he started the way he rapped in to now the way the songs that he does and me i've always been a, like a like a sponge like i always take a little bit of everybody's sauce and i add it to what i got going on and you know i've just been having a lot of fun like i've been just jumping around trying out different things you'll see me do some tv shows here you see me do a little radio here you'll see me d- drop a couple albums here you see me working with this artist you'll see me getting into some rap beef here you know you'll see me getting some scandals here like i just been trying to figure it out trying to you know find out how this Nairobi melting pot of creativity works and me I'm such a curious cat I find myself into sometimes some great scenarios and sometimes not the best scenarios not picture perfect scenarios but I've had a a blast and I've, I've enjoyed watching everybody grow and have their ups have their downs find their lanes try out different sounds some work some don't some people stayed some people didn't make it to this this tier in this era of music and entertainment some people haven't really you know lived up to their expectations some people have surpassed expectations that we could have even imagined for them so it's been an amazing journey and I'm 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 a big uh, believer of your time is your time and you know when it'll happen it'll happen so for me I just enjoy the journey and I always figure like what I do now is going to get me to the next thing so I'm always a I'm a very big baby step guy like I like little goals like let's just get to the mar- tomorrow and something will happen so I've enjoyed it I've enjoyed it I've had a lot of fun so what works for you? What works for me, you know, uh, 
what's the how can I explain it? What works? I try everything. I really like to try everything. And something works, some things don't. Um now, right now, I'm just really saying, let's just do it and not think about it. Cause I mm. I used to I used to have songs or have projects or have ideas and I just hold on to it like it's not the right time, mm. blah, blah, blah. Like the juice bar three came out probably a year after it was finished. I just was like, oh, it's not the right time to drop it. But so now I'm all about just dropping it. Like mm. I like to do it, put it out, do it, put it out. And I really don't think too much about what I'm doing nowadays. I just do it and enjoy what happens from it. Even the bad, the bad, uh, the bad, what's the word? Um, receptions, if you put out a song or do something. Like I was on a podcast, I said some things. And, you know, there was a little bit of bad reception, but it was incredible, good reception. What? Is it? It was the booty joint. I saw the booty, that. The booty but thing. The but the, you know, people You know, people in the comments, they're really just just trolls in the comments that just want to say, uh, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't yeah, you know, yeah, situation. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're going to, you know, y'all going to say I'm being gay for saying a situation of how I knew I wasn't gay. But people just <laughs> people just want to hate. That's what they do. No, but That's their job. What I, love I love it. And this is what I love about you mm. because you're, I, I say you're a real one because yeah. you're a real one. You yeah. know, you're not afraid to say, okay, this was my experience. Yeah. Um, determining that I'm not gay. Yeah. yeah. And you're fine yeah. with that. And there's no problem. Yeah. I didn't think it would be any type of problem, but and then you know when I see those type of comments, that's how I can know I can see the insecurity in their own comments for yeah. sure. Like you, you came to my page to tell me, hey man, hey, this I would never tell anyone. I, I can see that. I can tell. You probably should, by the way. <laughs> you probably should need to speak to somebody. But I enjoy it. And actually, I like pushing people's buttons. Like, I love it. I, I really love it. I love it. And what would you say <laughs> is the most requested thing um, from your fans? Like, when you meet them, when you interact, when you perform? It's You know, it's crazy. I don't know. Sometimes I meet my fans, and I don't know how they know me. And because I think I've kind of turned into a public figure, like a... Like a like, um, like, there are people who know you for different things. Yeah, like, I, I might be a socialite to some people. I might be a, their favorite rapper to some people. I might be a crush to some other people. I might be, you a know... A favorite voice on radio. A, a, a radio personality to some people. I might be somebody that they don't like. I'm the guy that they don't like to some people. And that's how they know me. And so, I don't know. I'm just a, a character, I guess, you know, a public... Public property at this point. <laughs> I be walking with my mom when we at events sometimes, and I bring my mom. She's like, "Yo, it's hectic," because she just hears jacuzzi, eh, eh, ni eh. It's just crazy sounds. Like my sister and my mom, they're always like, and they're just like, freaked oh, out. so much noise. They're freaked out actually when they with but me. But that's like the normal thing oh, no, for it's you. Too normal for me, but they get actually very freaked out because people feel come like with so many energies. This is just who you are. This is your lifestyle. Yeah, and, I, and my, they think they'll be like, "Do you know them?" I'm like, "No, nah, I don't know them. They're just <laughs> some guys, you know. They got the vibe." And I love, I love running into my fans because if you're a fan of me, that's how I know you a genius. Like you can see the geniusness. I always tell any of my fans, I'm like, "You a genius. You a, you the goat." Because a lot of people, I feel they can't see my geniusness. Sometimes I feel like sometimes I'm a two ahead of my time, or they're just too stupid. You know, not to be like. Me, but sometimes I feel like y'all too dumb to understand what I'm really dishing right now. Like you got to go get a shovel and dig this. Like it's some crazy stuff happening. And so when I run into my fans that are like dead Baraja Kuli fans, ah, oh, I got so much love for them. Cause yeah, I I feel like you're also the kind of rapper um who you either get Barack yeah. or you don't. Yeah, I think it's it's not for everyone. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's not. If you loved Barack, you love Barack. If you don't, peace. yeah, for sure. Um, I'd love to read your comments but, as well. But, but we're Barack fans. For sure. Thank you. Thank here. you. We're also a Nico fans. <laughs> Big time Nico fans. Give it up for Nico, by the way. You've been killing the game. You've been killing the game. Goddamn. Baby face with a new baby. It's going crazy. New hubby. It's going crazy. Syndications. It's going crazy. Oh, my God. You Steve ju Harvey. You just Steve did Harvey a freestyle on this shit over here right uh, I'm now. I'm going crazy with the bars. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Silverstone bars, yes. talking of bars. Yes, yes, yes. Great record, VNM, and she's a dope, you yeah, know, yeah, rapper. Yeah. Period. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was so excited to work with her. I feel like life is about making moments. Otherwise, it's just kind of like a bland memory. And I feel like the industry and the entertainment is also about making moments. Yeah, of course. Like everyone is an artist. Everyone is rapping. Everyone is a publicist. Yeah. Everyone is performing. Yeah. So it's 
the moment. Yeah, yeah. And BN always used to tell me something like, you always have to be prepared for the moment mm. or for the opportunity. Mm. You know, when you have that one shot, what do you do with mm -hmm. one minute? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. that moment. It's what you say in that moment. Yeah, but th th there's reason there's only, there's there's reasons there's not many BNs in the right? history. And not by many, I mean, there's only him and Yashinsky that are at that level doing it at that consistency uh, every day. There's not many others. And it's because it's not easy and it takes a certain level of person, a certain design of human to get to that level. And that's why, that's why I always say, like, not, sorry to say, but Nigerians work harder than us. They work harder than us. They just work harder. Now, I'm not saying they're more talented. Yeah. They work harder than us because in Nigeria, there's about a billion BNs. Yeah. On that level, on that scale, on that consistency, yeah. on that... Uh, you send the you send the, the rider, you send the, the rates on that rate card price. There's a, a billion of them in Nigeria. Mm. In Kenya, it's two. One. Yeah. Why? 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 They work harder than us. They do. Because I promise you, if you send all of us Kenyans to Nigeria, we are not going to pop. We not. Because we're going to be going against all of them. We too, we too, I don't know. I don't know. Are we, I think are it's we, the queen. Are we, too, are we too lax? Are we too Was chill? it the queen? Did the queen, the queen took over here, ain't it? Did the queen take over Nigeria? The queen didn't take over they Nigeria. Did. They, they did. They did. They did. Why are we so, why are we so petite with it then? Why are we so, why are we so calm? Like, I feel like we're spoiled. Like, I feel like we act spoiled. Like, we get an artist and then we be like, I don't know if we want to fuck with him or not. I don't know if we want to push him to the world. I feel like we're spoiled. Like, our fans are spoiled. Personally, that's what I feel. Because I feel yeah, like even, what do we need even, to do? even Saudi Soul, they didn't get love like that. They were out for like at least a decade, almost, before they took their shirts off, put some oil on their stomachs. And then everybody's like, hey, I think I do like their music. <laughs> like, what, what do you mean? What? what what about other stuff when we before we had our shirts on? Because yeah. we're spoiled. Yeah. We want to see something. Spoiled. Yeah. yeah spoiled. We want to see. Other places you we can. We want to see the t-shirt off. Other places you can be Ed Sheeran and have a guitar, and you be the biggest artist. I, I I dare Ed Sheeran to be Kenyan. He would not pop. He would not. Ooh. Kenyans Kenyans would be like, nah, we're not unless unless the world took him over. And then Kenyans would then, of course, yeah, love Yeah, but that's, that but means I'm all, all Kenyan artists, they need to have different strategy, no, right? No, it's true. It's true. A we local have to be strategy hard. and an international I'm, or Pan-African strategy. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that it's our fault. It's, it's, uh, it's our fans' fault. It's definitely our fault as artists because mm. we have to rise to the occasion. We have to give the people what they want. I'm sorry that we have... Uh, you know, spoiled fans. That means we got to give them some real shit, some dope stuff. And that's just the way it is. That's why I mean, any international artist can come to Kenya and sell out because our fans, the, the, the fans in Kenya, they have high quality taste, like top tier. This is like a, a one-stop shop for mm. any artist in, any, in true, the world. True. And I think there's almost any artist that's global can come to Kenya, you know, and, and have an 8,000 pack show. It would be nice for Kenyans to get the same elsewhere. It would. And that means we have a lot of work to do. We have to rise to the occasion. Yeah. We do. We do. So, do you have any gay stories? I don't know. I don't think so. You never thought you was gay? You know, no. girls always think they're gay. No. Like, all the time. No. Is it a trend? Or what? I never thought I was gay, really? but I've definitely seen a lot of super attractive women who, you know, ticked my fancy. Oh, yeah? By curious? Mm. You never tried anything? No, not really. Really? I think I must have kissed someone, a girl. Like, but like, you mean like that's happy standard. birthday or it was like, oh, you look cute. Like, like you happy locked birthday eyes. or just. Nah, it's not like, you can't say happy birthday and y'all kiss. That's okay. That's normal. I kissed my mom on her yeah, birthday. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't like that. Like, no, did no, no, did no, no. It was no. never. No. Never not once. No. Somewhere in Europe. Not even. Biza. Pop the pill in the Biza even. or something. Not even. Damn. That's rare. Not even. That's Is rare. it? Most girls have, maybe it's a generational thing. I don't know, because the youths, the young ones, they've, they've all, you know, tried I don't it. Know, I don't know. I think I feel I'm, like it's very I, normal I also now. think within my circles of, like, very close friends, mm. I actually have no gay, uh, really? gay girls. Mm. All my gay friends, all of them are male. So I feel like I was maybe not also exposed to do you think, gay girls or friends or lesbians. Do you think, do you think uh, uh, it's trendy now? 
Do you think there's like an uh, an increase? I don't think it's trendy and there's an increase. I just think that what it's has changed is yeah. So it seems yeah. like there's more, but it's, it just couldn't yeah, be outside yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think people are absolutely a little bit more tolerant. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and if not tolerant, those who want to express themselves are a bit more com- comfortable yeah. in doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I feel you. I'm sur- I'm sur- I'm shocked. Why? I I just I just assumed. Why? I'm sorry. I just assumed that I don't know. All <laughs> shorties must have tried it. I mean, I think all shorties of kiss a shorty. Yeah, but yeah. that's just but basic and standard. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I'm yeah. glad dudes don't do that, man. I'm glad. I'm glad dudes can't get pregnant. <laughs> Every dude would be pregnant if dudes could get pregnant. Imagine if dudes is in the club and niggas is taking shots and it's like I can't. It's like bitch. <laughs> Or it's like, yes, yes, nigga, I'm pregnant. Everybody would be, the clubs would be closed because nobody would be drinking. Every nigga would be pregnant. Niggas would be pregnant. <laughs> Niggas would be pregnant. I'm telling right? you, if dudes could get if, pregnant, if this world... the world would be double the population. I guarantee you. <laughs> Sluts. You would, Sluts. You would have been pregnant so many times Me? yourself. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I would have been a freaking uh, balloon. That's so, so funny. So, so what? Are, are you like... Uh, Cause we ain't trying to... What you mean? Girls, girls, girls think about that stuff. We just trying to bust one, enjoy it, let's go. Girls are like, no, I got to think about life and think about this and think about that. We not thinking about nothing. He's thinking about something. So dudes would get pregnant all the time, every day, every nine months. Every nine months, the world would be double the population. Okay, so what's guaranteed. your like relationship status? Mine? Mm-hmm. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love with the game. I'm in love with the game. I really love my music. <laughs> <laughs> with a serious face. No, I really do. I was like, who, I really do. who is called the game? Okay. Last time I checked, the game wasn't in the game. Yo, the game is a special person. Okay. The game is who I give all my attention to. I put all the work in, all the twerk in. You know what I mean? I grab some dirt in and be like, life ain't how you plan it. Mm. I sit down and say, I can't stand it. Shit. Ring the alarms, but don't panic. Hey, I'm in love with the game. I love that. I love that. One up for the game. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to get married one day and have kids and all that. Or maybe not get married, but have a have a have a baby mama. Like I definitely want to have kids. It's amazing. I want to have kids bad. I have baby fever bad. Why? Because you saw other babies and they were cute or like why? everybody my age is having kids and like my friends back home, you know, here people can people can be in their thirties and like it's like you in your twenties. Like people here just live live a the vida loca. Like we're really <laughs> living rock stars, like Las Vegas type styles. It's like Nairobi's so toxic. I go back home to America, all my friends my age, even my boys out of my young bulls, they got kids, houses with lawnmowers, cutting the grass. I'm helping them cut the grass. The wife is bringing out lemonade. The baby's holding the baby. Everybody. And I don't know. I'm getting the bug. Even my friends now, you know, like you have kids. Like all my older friends have kids too. Like even my friends that are my age, some of my young boys here, they have kids. And I, I, I'm I, a family man, you know. As much as I'm in the club, I'll put some earmuffs on that baby. Let's go to work, boy. So, yeah, I want to have kids. But I don't know. Girls, girls, it's complicated to have kids with girls. Not like that. Like I ain't trying to have kids with no niggas. But I'm saying, it's, it's, it's once you have a kid with a woman, it gets complicated. It's not as easy as it is for the guy to have a child and still, you know, his life can still continue. But you know, the woman wants to, you know, it comes with a lot of demands if you don't have the right plan set up. Mm. So that's that's tough. Trying to don't find worry. Mm. Consider this an official announcement. All the ladies listening and watching, this yeah. man is saying he wants to have babies with yes. the right woman. Yes, you gotta come correct. You know, you have to have the right vibes. You have to understand he yes. lives this lifestyle, yes. so you can't be like you can't go to the club and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. No, 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 no. You can't do that. Yo, my stipulations. You gotta understand. I'm gonna be outside. That's my job. You gotta <laughs> go to your job. I gotta go to my job. So don't be trying to tell me how to do my job. I ain't telling you how to do your job. Two, I go to the club with you on special occasions. Okay, I go. To the club that's my job so do you go to work with your girl no do you go to work with your husband no so if you come with me to work which is the club it's gonna be special occasions you know birthdays etc 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 big you know celebrations stuff like that let's say i'll give you 23 times a year okay so 
boom. Um, three, um, I like for you to be low key. Like, let's let if you go out, let let it be. Let it be low key, like go do you know brunch, maybe with the girls, you know what I'm saying? None of that late late night over benders and stuff. None of that. Let's let's cut that out. And if you do, I'll give you once, like okay, once a month. I'll give you once a month. If you go out three four times a month, I'll give you one time can be a bender. One time. Okay. The other times gotta be going to get your shit, handle that, enjoy, drink drinks. Oh, I love you. Yes. Go home. Mm. Really? I said you get one bender a month. That's very lenient. There's a lot of people that are very like toxic. I'm on you. But, calling but you. why 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 should your woman have just a, one night out and you're out I didn't every say one night. night? I said bender. Oh a bender. But, but you have more benders. Yeah. I'm in the kitchen of somebody I'm in somebody's kitchen talking business with some guy. What business are you talking in a kitchen with some guy? Tell me. I'd love to hear it. Oh my god. And that's this all is I'm so saying. controlling. It's not really You're controlling. already controlling your I, future. I said you got one bender. That is a great deal. No. Are you serious? No. How many she benders? Can, she can have as many benders as she wants. Because you have as many benders as you want. No, but you don't need to be on a bender, though. Maybe she feels like she needs to be. Or you she don't, wants to. She don't to. need to be on a bender. What if she feels like she needs to? She don't need to be on a bender. That she, means you're you going to make one her bender not this year. have benders if she already, wants to have benders. I'm not saying you don't. Have, you can't have benders. I'm saying you, you're you doing, like, well, how many benders? Like, let's say, like... Four a month? Whatever. Whatever I want to do. Whatever she wants to do. Nah. Nah. I like, I, I like my shorties with a minimum one month, once a month bender. You like, can't that's put me. a cap on your girl. That's like, not a cap. That's just a preference of my, what I would like. What, what's wrong with going out? I'm not saying she can't go out. She can go out. Why you got to be on a bender? Like, do you know the types of people that go on benders? Shit people. Like, no offense, but what the fuck okay, are you okay. doing a bender? Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, <laughs> fair enough. Wait, what, who's fair house enough. Are so, at? so if she's on benders, she should probably be with you. Yeah, if that's the case, but but, okay. but nah, probably not. Like let's not <laughs> let's not do that. You either. also want to go to benders without her? Uh, yeah, I'm with the boys. Like you with the boys, we, we you know we on a bender. That's different. I feel like the double standard for men and women. Everybody gets their perks. Like women, like if a, if. Some people come in here and try to kill us. I'm not going to look at you and be like, you got this or me. I'm going crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to protect us because I'm a man. But that means you, you can't be going on so many benders. Like, that's crazy. How many benders? Like, Never. Yeah? Would you like your man to go on benders? Mm, but you it, wouldn't mind. I, I wouldn't mind. The I double mean, But now, would he reciprocate the same energy if you wanted to? I don't think he'd feel the same way. Just keep it at a buck. Thank goodness that it's not a you know a hypothetical you know but if it was <laughs> uh, <tell> me. <laughs> you go ask him if I wanted to just be out for three days at a time how many how many times a month can no, I no but that? but how would I even be doing benders at this age I don't even exactly. have the time exactly that's why and I, I'm trying to find a shorty like you she can't be having benders I need somebody I'm trying to we what's it called procreate. Yeah, she can't be going on benders. Yeah, so it also means it's about looking for the person with the kind of lifestyle that you would like, right? Yes, yes. I go on benders, but I would like someone who doesn't go on benders. And I actually encourage people to look for opposites. Yes. Because when you find someone who does exactly, exactly. what you do, yes. there's always kind of like a clash. I pretty much described an opposite person to me. You could have just said that, man, because wow. I, I, I just didn't understand it that way. Wow. Now, you just wanted to come over here and say, girls, right? How she wants to do this. It's her body, her choice. What? Ridiculous. Thank you for coming to VAP no, Access. Thanks, me too. Thank you I had for a ball. always just being you. You know, we bumped into each other the other night. It was just amazing. Yo, you didn't know where the bar was at your own event. Like, did you not see the setup? I'm so bad. That's so I'm crazy. I'm so bad. And I really needed the alcohol. That's so crazy. But you're like, you're working here. Yeah, <laughs> you have a crew the wrong pass. bar. They didn't go to the wrong <laughs> direction. I'm like, the bar is that way. And they go. Like, Obviously, you. you know Of course, where I know the where the bar, bar is. is. Yes, yes. That's a good one. Yeah. You got me there. Bar. You got me there. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Oh, look at those bars. <laughs> Thank you for coming to VIP Access. I had a ball. Thank you. It was so amazing. Anything else you want to say, by the way? Um, nah, I'm outside, man. Broad Jacuzzi. I'm having a good time, having a great time. 
And uh, yeah, man, it's a great year, man. 2024, there's so much in store, man. I'm really excited, really excited to make more juice. I am so excited. So look out. I am excited. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my dopest, dopest friend, rapper, personality, MC, vibe curator, Sex bar me. jacuzzi, Sex me. Rasta coming straight to y'all from Nairobi, <coughs> Kenya. Cocos. Keep it Coco Master. Peace. VIP Access Season 4 is proudly supported by the Australian High Commission.